What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield and we got ourselves another banger off meta team today. We got ourselves a Life Orb Clefable alongside with Rabombi, Tentacle, and Pseudo Wudo team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on the channel and thank you guys so much for 7,000 subscribers. I know I said it in the last video, but seriously, thank you guys so much. It really does go a long way, but this team was sent in by my boy Hayden. Hayden, thank you so much for dropping this team. Guys, if you want to drop teams for me, head to the link in the description below. There's a link to my Instagram page, jeans underscore YouTube. Just DM me your teams over there, and I will definitely take a look at them. But rocking out on this team, front spot, top left corner, we're going to get started with the main man, Rillaboom, over here. We got Assault Vest and Grassy Surge. You guys already know plenty about it. We got Fake Out with different flinches, Grassy Glide for that first turn priority, and that stab damage, knock off, take off items, Brick Break to actually break screens, which is actually pretty cool with him. Right next to him, we got Rabambi, and I absolutely love this support mom. We, had sun, we have Stun Spore, blah, can't speak right now. We got sun, Stun Spore, okay, there we go, that's how we say it. Stun Spore over here for Paralyzes, which is awesome. Helping Hand to help other Pokemon do more damage. Moon Blast for our attacking stab move, and Palm Puff to do damage, which is stab as well. Or we can heal up our Pokemon as well. We got Shield Dust and Focus Ash so we don't die in one turn. Got my face cam, another support mom with Ndidi. We have Follow Me, Helping Hand, Hyper Voice, and Expanding Force with the Psychic Seeds and the Psychic Surge ability. Pseudo Wudo, another great physical attacker on this team. Besides Rillaboom, we got Rockhead and Choice Band. We're gonna Choice Band this thing to whatever move we want, deal some more damage. We got Sucker Punch for first turn priority, Hammer Arm for our coverage fighting move, Wood Hammer for our coverage grass move, and it will work well in the grassy shirts by doing a little bit more damage. And then our stab move of Head Smash, which we will not take no recoil damage due to our ability. Bottom left corner, we got Tentacle. I love this Pokemon, actually. I didn't really like him, like, when I first started playing, like, Pokemon. But, like, now that I'm getting into, like, competitive and playing it that way, Tentacle's awesome. He's definitely a fun off-meta Pokemon to use. He's water poison typing. We got the safety goggles rocking out on him. Liquid Ooze ability and then protect Sludge Bomb, Whirlpool, and Hydro Pump. All stab moves right there. We're going to be able to rock out. Final spot is our Life Orb Mon, and this is the Clefable right here with Magic Guard and Life Orb. So we take no Life Orb damage because of our ability. And this thing, it has one stab move of Moon Blast and then three coverage moves of Blizzard, Thunder, and Fire Blast. This is going to be our main attacker right here. We're going to try to get after it with this guy. But if you guys want to use this team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Run the code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that Rank the Bladder. Try to get some wins with this squad. Since this season is starting to slow down all that, I've been loving it. We've been seeing so many off-meta Pokemon, like this guy over here. He has an Aerodactyl team. That is actually pretty hype. I think Aerodactyl is just rock and flying, right? We should, be, we should be fine. Nothing too, too special here. He's got the Suicune, the Urshifu, the Rotom Heat, Rillaboom, and Wimscott set up a Tailwind. Um, how should I roll into this? How should I get after it? I could, I could just straight up go into a Fake Out on it. He has no Psychic Surge, right? Yeah, he has no Psychic Surge, so I could pop off with a Fake Out on it. And I could get after it with, like, Tentacle or something. That'd be pretty nice. Or I could just uh, let him set up the Tailwind. Not really worry too much. Go into my NDD so no Fake Outs happen. Hmm. How does Jeans want to play this one? How does Jeans want to play this one? Good Fake Out. I could go into you. Or I could go into Clefable. Clefable works as well, too, because Clefable's not bad all around. Hmm. I could knock off items. I could do, I could do a lot. I could do a lot here. Um, who do I really want here? I don't want to bring Pseudo Voodoo in the back. I kind of want my Fake Out Mon right up in front here. So we go Clefable. Maybe go Rabombi. Hmm. And Pseudo Voodoo? I don't like that. I kind of do like that. I do like that. Let's go. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have led the Rabombi and Clefable combo. Maybe just helping hand to start okay Ellen Pokemon because this thing is an absolute beast with helping hand. This uh, Clefable does work and it takes no life orb damage, which is amazing. It has that magic guard, so like other things can't hit us as well. That's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Clefable is a cool Pokemon. Definitely a very cool Pokemon. I used it in singles like way back when I used to record singles. That was a while ago. That was a while ago. But he does go Whimscott into the Suicune, which is totally fine by me. We're gonna go Real Boom into the Fable slot. Again, totally fine by me. Um, I think I just fake it out, and then do I drop an ice? Do I just take that thing out? Set, I could set the heat. The water damage could be less. It could be nice. I could set some heat. Or I could just grassy glide, but I am going to fake out. I don't think Sweetkin's really going to do much here. I think I Dynamax here, right? But get after it. I could flare. Or I could hail some. I'd rather uh, flare. I think I'd rather flare here. I don't think he has Rotom Heat. Hmm. Actually, I'd rather, I'd rather just Hailstorm this. I think I'd rather Hailstorm. 
in my opinion. Actually, no, I wouldn't. I'd rather flare. I would definitely rather flare. Just for the sheer fact is I have Rabambi and I really don't want to take off the Focus Ash and have the thing die. There goes the Sweet Coon Withdrawal. That's totally fine with me. And you were going to go into Rotom. Okay, so the Heat is going to be looking a little tough for us here. I'm going to try to knock off that item later. No, no, I went to the... No, yeah, I did go into the Heat. I was going to say, did that go into the Ice Storm? See, that was my only reason for not going into the player was maybe he's cooking up a Rotom in the back. But I can change the weather next turn if I really want to. But we're going to say buy this Wimscott. We're going to fake it out and drop it. I don't think... Unless he protects, but what Wimscott rolls protect, you know? What Wimscott is really going to roll protect? I'm going to give this thing a little clap, please. Bop. Get it out of my face. I did some nice damage for a poor fake out, you know? It was my player. I'm going to say bye-bye to you. And I'm probably going to uh, take off whatever item this uh, Rotom has by going into it just a straight up knockoff. I think we should be fine after that. We should be fine. I could change up the weather. I don't really, really want to. But yeah, I should start taking off items and rolling from there. Or I could Grass Guide depending on what Pokemon comes in. Say Sweet Coon comes in, push Grass Guide into it. And then start falling to the other slot, change up the uh, rain for us. Then get rolling from there. Let's see, let's see what you were going to do, Kanto. What are you going to do? I don't think he goes back in this weekend, so I think we're going to see his whole team right here. We've been playing pretty decent with off-meta teams. Like, we haven't really been using meta teams as of recently. We've been using uh, decently off-meta teams. Nice. And I've been having a lot of fun with him. I really have been. But make a move, my dude. We're going to go back out in this weekend. Maybe try to bait a grassy guy. He might try to bait a grassy guy. I'm not even going to lie, but I think you are going to get the bait. I think you are going to get that. And I think I just go into a star fall. Hmm. What do I do here? I just lightning. Lightning helps him out as well. Or I could just do this. Or I could do this. I think this is the play. I don't think he died now. He, may, he actually might. But maybe I could take off this item. That'd be nice. But we're going to drop a lightning into that left slot. Oh, going to drop a wonderful little lightning here. I mean, his water moves aren't going to do that much to us. He might go into a snarl. That's, a, that's definitely a possibility. And he is going to Dynamax the Rotom. There comes Dynamax from the Rotom. That's fine. As, if I can get off this thing's item, that's huge. That's a huge play for us. That will be huge for us if we can get off this thing's item. But I wonder how the speed's going. I really do wonder how the speed's going. Probably Suicune's fastest, right? Let's see. What do you got? What do you got, kind sir? Flare, Flare's gonna come out first, okay, so Real Boom's dead. That's fine. Plus this whole fest helps out. Uh, maybe maybe without the drought. The Lightning is gonna drop on that left slot. I am gonna be able to get out Rabambi here. Which is wonderful. Ice Beam's gonna pop. We should be able to uh, KO this thing with a light, right? I think we should. Get after it. I think. No, we do not. No stab. We need we need a little bit more damage there. We need just a little bit more damage. We do change up the terrain, which is nice. So we got Electric Terrain buzzing. Kind of helps out him as well. But again, we do have Sash. We got Rocket Sash. This thing's rocking left over. This one's gonna be a good match. This is gonna be a good match. We still have Pseudo Wudo. I could roll out into him, but I really don't want to right now. And I'd rather go Rabambi. Because Rabambi's pretty fast. Hmm. 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 I just moon blast taking you out. Moon blast, yeah. Let's go moon blast. Let's go moon blast take you out. Uh, let's starfall. I think I might starfall. That's probably our best bet. Get a little bit of stab damage rolling on the side. Even though it's not very effective, we can change the terrain to what we want it. I could always pump up other turns too. But Rabambi should be faster than Suicune, I feel like. Right? We are sash, so we should be able to get off another turn. But I feel like it's just gonna go uh, a flare into my fable slot. And then Suicune's gonna, gonna try to ice beam my Rabambi. Let's see what let's see what movie actually makes. Because again, we still have Pseudo Wudo in the back with a choice band, which is pretty nice. It's pretty nice here. Rabambi is gonna be able to outspeed. This should be able to pick up the KO, no problem. Oh yeah. get him out of here. Suicune gone. Alright, good work for bombs. Good work. We can always pile puff next turn as well. I mean that we have the speed advantage. She's gonna go for a play. Go against her bombing. Yes, it is against her bombing. I like that. We are sash. We are sash, which is dandy. And I could always help in hand this next turn as well. My play would probably be. Well, what's fun? My play would probably be to take out this Pokemon on the left slot. 
I don't need a palm puff anymore. My Rabambi's fastest, which is good. Uh, do I see him KO in my Clefable in one shot? I don't know. That's that's real tough. That's a real tough call. I gotta check out this thing's special defense. See where it's sitting at. Because in that case, I might helping hand. But it kind of depends on what is for the final line. It's gonna be a real boot. He's going to be a real boot. He's just going to fake out my Rabambi and picking it. Okay. Uh, hmm. How am I liking that one? And then, oh, that thing takes out my pseudo boot easily. Really good. You gotta go. I gotta go for a, uh, what is it? What I, Fire Blast? I have to go for that, right? I have to go for this. I have to dump on this thing. I have to dump on this thing. That's a fact. Helping hand comes out. He does not fake out. He does not go for the fake out. Or does helping hand come out? Helping hand comes out before the fake out. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. Oh, I need, I need you, Fable. Fable, eat up whatever he has to offer. He's gonna go for a flare, yo. Say that's a tasty snack. Yo, that's a tasty snack. You got it. Ooh, no, he gets a crit. Yo, what you mean? Yo, what you mean? That would have been such a good match. We, we possibly would have won that one. We possibly would have won that one. It's just saying, just saying, all we need to do is eat up a shot from the, what's it called? All we need to do is eat up a shot from the uh, Rotom. And it's not Dynamax anymore, so I feel like we would have been potentially thriving there. Right? We, we would have been fine. We would have been fine. Oh, dude, this game, man. He really crits my Fable there. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. He gets that crit to win in the game. Whack. Special guy comes out here. That's GG. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Nope. D Bull comes out here, dude. We would have. We would have been. We would have been teeing off on this uh, road Tom. We would have been teeing off. Wow, yo, GG. We start off 0-1 with a rough little start because of a dang critical hit. Looking for our first win for today's video. This guy's got a Trick Room team right here, and it's looking really scary. It's pretty meta with the Rhyperior, Venusaur, Dusclops, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and Torkoal. I feel like I got to counteract on Trick Room. Right off the bat, I kind of want to go in DD, just so he can't fake me out. He has two fake out bombs. Got to enter this roll room for the knockoff. Um, I feel like that's got to be the play, right? That's got to be the play. I cannot afford a fake out and then have him just roll into it. He's probably going to go instant or maybe dust cops. Roll into that. And then I have the second seeds. No fake out can happen. I can knock off the Evo Light and try to kill it with an expanding force. That's definitely a possibility there. Um, I think Fable is not a bad mod here, considering it has so much coverage. Right? It's not bad. It's not bad. Pseudo Voodoo is not bad either. I don't like Tentacruel. I really do like Tentacruel here. I am going to go Tentacruel. I am going to bring him in here. He might be our Dynamax mod. And then I think call Fable in the back end as a final mod. Or do we just go Pseudo Voodoo? And just have Tentacruel. I don't like Pseudo Voodoo. I ain't going to lie. It does do a decent amount of work. I I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. Alright, let's buzz. Let's get after it. Let's get it, because we do have special attacking moves that could dump on that right here. Grass is not super effective to us, considering we have part poison type, which is huge. I, I, I kind of like this. I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of digging it. Even though Pseudo Budo gets torn up by a Rillaboom, I feel like we can uh, actually just finish that Rillaboom off with, uh, with our tentacle. But he's going to go right here and Venus. Okay. So he might swap it to the Torkoal. That's obviously an option. DD and Rillaboom pop out here. Um, so, I don't think I actually, uh, I think I just take off that thing's item. I think I just take off Venusaur's item. So, Psychic Surge is going to take over. Get the grass one out. Which is nice. That yeah, feels getting a little weird. Alright, so. Hmm. What would it be to knock off that thing's item? I don't, I think Rhyperior is going to swap, right? I think my period swaps. We drop this expanding force and we take off your item. Wait, my period got a swap. He doesn't stay into a grassy glide Pokemon. Yeah, okay, my period swaps to the Torkoal. Which is fine. It's fine. Are you gonna Dynamax? That's why I didn't fake out. I didn't fake out for that reason. And we are gonna get expanding force damage on both of these guys. Which is nice. Um, Roboom is not gonna outspeed, but he is Assault Vested, so he should be able to eat up whatever this, uh, whatever this Venusaur has to offer. He might go into a max use just to boost a special attack, which is fine by me. Honestly, fine by me. Let's see what he's gonna do. What are you going to do, Kaiser? 
Is he gonna ooze? I think he's gonna ooze. Yeah, he is gonna ooze. Go into my Robo slot. Yep, Robo should be able to eat his salt. Yep. Thank you very much, Mr. Assault Vest. And that's gonna be big. Even though he gets a special, uh, even though he gets a special attack boost, I still feel like that's pretty big, considering we're gonna take off its life orb. And we're gonna get off a nice little expanding force. Do some big damage here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Knockoff coming out here. here. Give me that. Oh my god, we almost pick up the KO. I could grassy glide here. Do we think a glide's gonna kill this thing? I say I just force. I say I just pose a force. And then I just glide. Wait, yo, does a glide take that thing out? No, we don't go first with it. Ooh. Um, hmm. Let me double up in this Venusaur. Venusaur might protect. It's a solid first turn for us. That is a solid first turn for us. I really do like it. The Torkoal is not going to go. There's no way you killed the Indeed. There's no way you killed the Indeed. He is plus one. Gotta watch out for that. Torkoal is going to protect. Fine by me. We're doubling up in this Venusaur slot. So Venusaur should be dead. It's beautiful. Who are you going after? You are going to go after Robo. I'm, I'm kind of liking this. I'm kind of liking where we're sitting. Um, okay. Venusaur's dead, which is huge. Venusaur's dead. Torkoal's not outspeeding my Ndidi. I think I get out Tentacle here. And we get buzzing from there, right? Option. Did I bring out that or Pseudo Budo? But I'm really liking Dynamax and Tentacle here. And getting after it. Because I can change the weather to what I want it to be. It's just dandy. Yeah, yo, let's get out tents, dude. Let's get out my boy tents. And I can boost with Max Use too. We know an expanded force takes out Torkoal all day. That is good to know. And then we can follow me. I could ooze up. Try to get my try to get uh pop in here. Oh my god, we're going we're setting uh Um wait a minute, what is the pop here? Because he might protect that right here. I I'm fine with this. I'm fine with doing this. And doing this. And just change up that weather, right? Yeah, let's get after it. Let's change up that weather. Let's change up that weather, baby. Yeah, Torgo's gonna go down here, no problem. He can't protect this turn. And we're gonna get a free weather change, even if Rhyperior does protect. He's gonna withdraw the Torgo. Totally fine. Roll Boom is gonna come out here, and we are gonna be able to drop a nice little expanding force on it. Oh no, you buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. You really gonna take my surge away? You really gonna take my surge away? Is Rhyperior gonna protect? Rhyperior might protect, but again, then we get the weather change. Kind of like that. I can always ooze on the Roll Boom slot. Get my boost. Go get boosting. But I will have weather. I will have weather, which I really, really like. Weather, baby. And grass is not super effective. We have our safety goggles as well. We are goggled up. What are you gonna do here? And he does not. He does not do anything. But we actually, are we gonna take out this right here? I don't think we're gonna take it out with the geyser because of the, the heat. Oh, we still do. Wonderful, yo. Wonderful. My man tense. I knew that uh, Rhyperior is a terrible and special defense. Oh, god awful. But I didn't know if the uh, if the drought was going to neglect enough damage. We have to keep it alive. Expanded Force is going to be able to roll. I can take out Torkoal next turn all day. So, we're thriving here. We're thriving here. I ooze. I ooze. I take out the Torkoal. Because I'll get that plus... Uh... Oh, dude, he's going... No, he's going to... Uh... He's just going to set the drought again. Which, honestly, I'm, I'm fine with. Cause I, I just ooze I just ooze an expanding force so I'll get that, that plus one Expanding force I'm gonna just go straight for the tool that. Then I'm gonna ooze to get that plus one special attack Boost, okay Yo, dude, I don't like it, this team This team is mad fun to play, I love tentacle Tentacle's cool, purple's gonna protect That's fine, man Gonna fake out my Ndidi. You know, it's still, it's still fine. We're getting that, that plus one. Give me that. And then we KO. We do not KO. Maxus doesn't really do too, too much damage. But dude, we're thriving here. We really are thriving. We pretty much have this one set up. And I should double up in the real boom. But I think we're fine here. He's gonna knock off. He's gonna take off my goggles. Yo, I was using them. <laughs> They're protecting my eyes, man. Phantom Force comes out. Nothing. Again, we get another special attack boost here. And this is over. This one's over. Let's roll and protect. Yeah, dude, this one's GG, yo. Let's go. Let's go, yo. We thrive in that first battle. I think we would have had the win. Let me know in the comment section down below. You guys think we would have had the win if uh 
if he didn't crit with that Rotom? Or what do you guys think? You guys think he still would have won? Or do you guys think it could have went either way after that? But I, I, th I thought it could have went either way. I thought it was going to be super, super close. Maybe we would have gotten the win if uh, if he didn't get that crit. Because Clefable eats that up, and then we roll out from there. But this battle was awesome. Great battle here. I knew to bring in a tense, man. I knew to bring in Tentacle. He absolutely rocks out. Considering Roll of Moon's, like, Grassy God is not super effective to him. Which I absolutely love. I absolutely love that. Bandit Force comes out here, and we don't even need the What's It Called. We don't even need the Pseudo Wudo. GG's 1-1. One one. We can hop to our third and final now. You guys already know the deal. We can look for that perfect record. Let's get after it. 1-1, one one, looking for that perfect record. You guys already know what I'm about to say. For the jeans. Online gaming. I'm on it, baby. Looking for it for you guys. Let's get after it. Um, This guy is a sick team right here. All three original starters with Charizard, Venus, or Blastoid. Then he has Gengar. Ooh, ooh. He's looking fancy. Titar and Magnezone over here. Okay. I see you. I see you. Um... Hmm, how should, I, how should I play this one? How should I play this one? Um, do a lot of damage with Pseudo Rudo up against that Charizard. I honestly could. I don't want to go Rillaboom into Pseudo. Not a bad lead. I want to bring Fable. I think Fable's got to come in here. Fable's looking nice. Got a lot of coverage. Fable can do a lot. Rabombi or Indeedy? That's the real question. Let me go Rabombi. Or maybe I can get out. Going in Palm Puff, you know? Let's go. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. I really am like this. But a game that is coming out is Super Mario 3D World. It comes out, I think, February 12th with Bowser's Fury. I will be doing a playthrough on both of those because we are almost on Pikmin, which is awesome. So you guys know how I like to have a little side playthrough. Hope you guys are excited for that. But that leads me to question of the day. I, I'm, I am going to start trying to do question of the days in every video again like I did. I used to always do it at the end of the video so I know who sticks around and who watches. But... Question of the day today is going to be, are you guys going to be picking up Bowser's Fury and Super Mario 3D World? Seriously, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm actually hyped for that game, even though I played it for the Wii U, but I absolutely loved it. And the graphics and the Bowser's Fury trailer was phenomenal. It looked amazing. It's just getting me hyped for, like, maybe Odyssey 2 or the next big 3D Mario game. New one, at least. But we're going to get rolling with this. I could glide. Um, do I think he might protect? Possibly. In that case, I still go here. Do I just head smash over on the beam? Might actually swap you out because if you're gonna go for a grass move, you're dead. I don't have a protect, which I really don't like. I think I might just swap into the fable. Yeah. Let's play. Let's swap into the fable. We're just gonna swap. I don't like this. I mean, I didn't want him just dumping all my beam. Well, not my beam, my pseudo Wudo. That rock move. Buster so is gonna protect. He's gonna drop by like an energy ball. Or are you gonna go for a sleep powder? That'd be wonderful. Go for it. Go for it. I have guard. I have guard. I have my magic guard. Just gonna sludge bomb. Over on the Rilla. Wow, dude. I could have head smashed that thing. I could have totally head smashed that thing. That would have been wonderful. That would have been wonderful. Okay, uh, so we got Fable Swap, which isn't bad at all. Let's see. I say we still pose that threat over here. I'm gonna Dynamax and actually drop a flare. I'm gonna Dynamax and drop a flare onto that thing. Let's get after this. I don't think he Dynamaxes. I think he might swap the Blastoise, but we still have Pseudo Wudo in the back, which is lovely. I'd love to get off this Grass Guy, because I believe it should be able to take out Blastoise, no problem. He's going to withdraw the Blastoise, that's totally fine. So we are posing that threat, and he is going to go into Magnazone. Magnazone, yeah. Wing, 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 wing. And, uh... Oh, he is going to Dynamax Venusaur, so Chlorophyll is going to trigger for him. I don't like I didn't think he was going to Dynamax Venusaur. I really did not think that was going to happen. E! Chill on me, man! So back to back. D-Max Venusaur. Shiny, at least. Please double through on me. Um, okay. Magnus Zone's out here. He is going to boost his special, uh... He is going to boost his special... His special attack here. But the thing is, the thing is... Can I take it out with another Flare? With a Rabambi with help me? I think I can. No, it's not going to be sad. We're going to get the help again, and we're going to have the drop boost. I'm up to 404, so I see us eating up pretty much whatever he has to offer. He might Eerie Impulse me, too. Does he have that on that? Clyde's going to come out here. We just had to pose that threat. He's going to be able to eat that up, no problem. And he's going to go be able to ooze a new special attack, which I don't like one bit. Open goes down. He gets absolutely dumpstered on. Uh, Really Real is going to have to come out here. Really Real is going to have to come out here. 
but well, not really real. Uh, what is that thing? A bomb, dude. I have something in my eye. Like it feels like a small grain of sand or something. I don't know. It's bothering me though. So the thing is, I we should be able to kill. We should be able to kill that Venus or no? We should be able to kill that. No problem. With a helping hand and a flare. Yeah. This thing's double one. This is leftovers. Oh no, it's not. Oh no, it's sludge. That's what. It is. I was gonna say it got double healing. Things nuts. So, Rabambi come out here. I'm gonna need Sudowoodo for the back. I really don't like it, considering he still has Blastoids in the back end. But Rabomb, so let's get it. Let's get it, Rabomb. We are gonna have to drop a little helping hand here. We are gonna flare over onto that slot. Hopefully he doesn't protect and do something crazy. He might do that. That'd be a smart play. That would probably secure the victory. I think helping hand comes out before protect, so let's see. Okay, he's gonna ally switch. Okay, so what's called is gonna drop here. I, I'm kind of fine with that, unless that thing is uh, Sash. Let's see if Sash is. Dude, this thing's boosting up. He's boosting up. Fable should be able to eat. Fable does end up eating. Oh, I don't like this at all. I could Palm Puff next turn. Which I'm probably going to do. I'm probably going to Palm Puff. Hopefully, this boy's not Sash. I really hope this thing's not Sash at all. The Magnezone. Magnezone, please don't be Sash. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, we already did damage. Though. Okay, so Magnezone's dead. I'm going to Palm Puff next turn. I need a little bit more HP to be able to eat up another Ooze or whatever he has to offer. And get after that thing. The must. It's a must. The must. It was gonna get a little bit of HP back. I think we should be able to eat, eat up with whatever he has to offer at first. Even though he's plus two, e like that at all. I think Flash Switch coming back out, right? Oh, the guard. Ooh, ooh, a little bit of Gengar action. A little bit of Gengar action coming out. Uh, we're gonna puff. Get a little bit of puffy action here. And I think I still flare. I think I still get after this thing. I don't know if we're going to be able to KO it. Hopefully we get a crit. He guards, yo. What do you mean? Actually, that's kind of fine by me. Pompo is going to come out here. And we are going to start stacking up on our HP slot, which is wonderful. I can pop up again next turn if I really want. This sludge race is going to come through. Who dodges it? I oh, know. He just protects it. Someone dodge it. Nobody dodges it. Okay. Bombi sashes up. Don't, don't poison me. Dash comes out. Don't dare poison me. Player's gonna do nothing. Oh man, I don't know about this one. Venusaur outspeeds us. Venusaur outs. Oh no, we're done. We're done over here. This one's not looking good for jeans. Unless I would have took out that Gengar next uh, last turn. Not looking good. Not looking good. I got a palm up again. That's a fact. He's gonna sludge weight. Oh, he is gonna. He is gonna sludge weight. Right? Oh, my Dynamax turns are over too. E. I got a palm. Actually, I could. Could do that. Blow you down. And then Blizzard. I need to go into like a double attacking move, right? I gotta risk it for the biscuit here. You're supposed to sludge bomb. He outspeeds my Rabombi and all that. Fable's done. Oh man, yo, third battle not looking good for us. This was a tough one. This was a tough one. Once he got that Venusaur go going, that guard did help him out a lot too. We're gonna be able to stun this thing. This thing is stunned for a turn. We have a shot here. Nope, dead. Sudowoodo is the only thing left. He's going up against a Venusaur Blastoids and a Gengar. That's GG. That is GG. We are gonna go one and two. We haven't went one and two in a while. Maybe. Again, going back to battle number one. Maybe we should have went uh, two and one. Maybe we should have been two and zero oh going into this one. But yeah, tough third battle here. I absolutely love this team though. The team was tons of fun. That Venusaur was able to uh, win in the match. We went back to back with Venusaurs, and it was tough because he had uh, we had Pseudo Wudo here. We did have Pseudo Wudo, which uh, he he gets ripped up. He gets ripped up easily. He's just chilling here. He's a little he's a little tree. I kind of want to get a picture with him. Like look at him. Wait, I just want—I just want to see a picture before I run this battle. You get me up close, Sudo Wu, standing there with his little tree palms, cracks me up every time. Let me see my dude. Let me see him. Come on, yo, I need a little front facing. No, not that angle. Come on, man. I'm gonna do that. We're seeing all of his Pokemon. I just want to see my boy. No, not look. We see Venus over there. Look, I'm looking for Sudo. Switch over to mine. Really, you're not gonna show me my boy? You're gonna do me dirty like that. There he is, though. There he is. I kind of like that angle. I'm like, there he is. That's the angle I wanted. My boy, Sudo Wudo. All right, let's run this battle. 
Let's get out of here. Yo, GG this guy. We got one and two for today's video, and that is it. Hayden, thank you so much for dropping this team. I absolutely love it. It was tons of fun to play. First battle, we actually played pretty decently. Second battle, we rocked out. That was our that was our star battle for today. Second battle, we got ourselves a big victory, and we got to show off Dynamax Tentacle, which is pretty cool. And then third battle, you guys, we, we don't even talk about that. Went up against three Kanto stars. So pretty tough one. It was hard. We ended up losing that one. But, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. It, the support does go a long way. You guys rock out. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.